diet of uh, what goes on in the streets. And uh, finally, Tupac, your friendship with that, because that was shown in that movie. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, him and no Pac? So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, you know, uh, uh, me and Pac have became uh, very good friends. Uh, uh, yeah, when I first came uh, to Death Row, you know, we sat down and we mapped out a game plan. And Tupac actually was writing a blueprint down uh, of what me and him was going to do together. And uh, uh, to the extent that uh, he wanted to go to high schools. And uh, when he got to the high schools, he wanted a requirement. Uh, and we were, we were going to do these concerts, right? And it was going to be me, him, and Snoop, by the way. And, and, and some of the other Death Row family, you know, the, uh, the Doll Pound and, and Nate Doll. But this was Pac's idea. And what Pac wanted to do was he wanted to give concerts at, at certain high schools all up and down the coast and so forth and so on. But the requirement was if you don't have a C, you can't get in. And, you know, his strategy was going to be, he said, Ham, this is how we going to do this. I'm going to blame it on you. You know what I'm saying? This is what Uncle Ham saying I got to do. And, uh, 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 you know, because we don't want to mess up, you know, the, the overall concept of how we get down. And I loved him for that because at the same time, he said, now, Ham, I'm going to make these records for you. And I want you to I want you to speak even more to the streets from the other side on these records. And he really did that, man. Uh, by the second or third day, I was in death row. I came in at about 10 o'clock in the morning and they say hey, 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 hey man Pac was here ham. he made you about three records I said made me about three records he said yeah you were saying something the other day about you love skin type man he's got a whole thing baby back up if you asthmatic this, this track I had you going way back like bad habits I heard you talking loud and clear but you ain't saying nothing he was rapping like he hammer and uh and he, he put the whole thing down man and, uh, and man, I loved him for that man because he was a dude man who was so true to um his, what, his word and man uh, over the course of about a year almost. We flew around places together. You know, we sat down and, and uh, we mapped out ideas on what to do next. Uh, we made records um, and we dreamed together. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was just devastating, you know, uh, when he lost his life and the way that he lost his life. And uh, I'm only, uh, you know, I'm so glad and elated to see that. His movement, you know what I'm saying, and what he really uh, stood for came out in the long run. In other words, you, the world was not allowed to pigeonhole him as just one particular type of rapper because he was always more than that. You know what I'm saying? He was always more than that. He was always uh, a dude destined for great leadership. He was always a dude who loved uh, his sisters and loved his mom and, and, and his mother, you know, and, and wanted to see great things. He had activism in his blood, you know what I'm saying? His mother, everybody know, you know what I'm saying? But remember, that's why we loved each other so much and became such good friends because that same Panther movement had a lot of its origins right here, you know, in the town. And, and, and uh, the Black Panthers headquarters right around the street from my grandmother's house. So, I, you know, I'm all up and down and in that. And, and so uh, we had a commonality in us, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, 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 rest in peace, man. But uh, I, I, even in talking about it, you know, I just, I, I have fun memories, you know what I'm saying? And I cherish them because uh, Tupac was a special dude and uh, and he deserves um, his history and where he is and, uh, and uh, the mortar that he is in the game, he deserved that because, man, what was coming next, the world wasn't ready for. I mean, this dude was going to take it to the next level, you know, he was going to take this hip-hop thing to the Cornell West level, you know what I'm saying? He was headed toward that direction. He was going to take the film thing to uh... Uh, uh, not just movies uh, of being a movie star, but movies that would impact your soul, your thinking. He was headed towards all. Yeah, it was uh, it was a wonderful and I'm sure a scary sight when I seen you, him, and Snoop at that press conference talking about how you was going to take all your fans and flip them into a political so uh, force. You know, that was the last thing. That was very scary. <laughs> yeah, so I, hey, I'm glad you brought that up because that's how serious it is. And to understand, David, that we actually sat down and talked about that. You know what I'm saying? That we going, okay, Hammer, you going to get all the Hammer fans. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was trying to say earlier when I said this is how we're going to approach, you know, the high school thing. It's Hammer's movement to, to do it, but Pac riding with him because he's my brother. And then when he moved one way, I'm riding with him because he's my brother. So we're going to take Pac fans, Snoop fans, Hammer fans, and we're going to make a political movement. So when we want certain people in office, we're going to tell all our fans, this the dude that represents us. This the woman that represents us. And we were, as you know, you was at that press conference when we announced that. So, man, it, it was scary to a lot of people. It's so scary that they don't show that. You never see that on MTV, BET, or any of those places. The news doesn't bring it up. They talk about a lot of things. But to see you three at the height when Death Row was at a, a dynasty, 
you know, to see like, wow, Hammer, Pac, two, and, and Snoop all sitting there, you know? And now it seems like Snoop is coming to his own and is trying to, you know, figure out, you know, how to keep it positive. And you're coming back with a lot of uh, new faces in your movement and hopefully that dream can be fulfilled. Well, we, it, 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 there's no choice. See, the dream has to be fulfilled because... What we're doing right now is so powerful that we got a lot of forces against us, more than more than um, people will ever know. But it's no real stopping us. You know what I'm saying? We we speak in code. We speak through our spirit and vibrations and movement. That's why the hypey movement is important. That's why the youngsters in L.A. crumping and, and clown dancing is important. See, it's not just a dance, and, and we need to say this. Notice that in every region where it's hot, it's a dance affiliated with it. See, dudes can't sugarcoat it. You can say it with you how you want to. Uh, 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 gangsters don't dance. That, that was the funniest thing I ever heard, because all these killers around me always dance. Kill you dead, man, and then dance around you. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> that was one of the funniest things I ever heard. I ain't never, matter of fact, I ain't never met no killer who don't dance, you know what I'm saying, they gonna dance first, then shoot you, but the thing is, uh, all of these dances, if you look down in an ATL, what you think, them ain't thugs that are that's doing the snap dance, you know what I'm saying, you, you ever been to St. Louis, you ever been to East St. Louis, what you think, who, who you think was doing them dances that you saw coming up out of St. Louis, man, it was the streets, the street always gotta dance with it, what you think the crib walk is? You know what I'm saying? This is dancing. What I'm only saying that to say that with all of these movements right now, it's a dance affiliated with it. Because we tribal. That's what we are. That's who we are. Africans. We tribal with it. We gonna dance. The thing, you look at one of the movies, see if before they get at you, if they'll go ahead and put this dance, <laughs> put this dance down tonight, and tomorrow they're gonna tear your head off. Well, symbolically, that's the same way we're moving right now. In LA, we crumping. Up in the bay, we get hypey. Down, snap, down south over there, they snapping. But it's coming at you, baby. We dancing. Watch out when all the dancers get together. It's a movement. They was dancing in Brazil a long time ago, and that's how they got free. Capoeira. They didn't know. But like you said, we speak in code. That's MC Hammer. We've been hanging out with him all afternoon. It's been a pleasure. And we'll be on the lookout. His newer album and, and project. Look three times. And, uh, and he got it from the town. That's, that's something to remember. We out for now.